Hey, what's up, people? So, everybody asks me, you know, how do you get that gourmet taste cooking on that little bitty camp stove with that little bitty cup? So, today, I'm going to tell you the biggest secret to it. Stick around. It's really simple. And like I said, I don't know why I've done that, but anyway, it done it. So today, yeah, sometimes I get ahead of myself. You know, when you're out on the trail, or you're out camping, you've been there a couple of days, and you know whether it's on a motorcycle or you're hiking or whatever you want to carry the least little bit, least weight you can, safe space and everything else. So I use cubes or cookies. And everybody goes, what? Yeah, uh, it's a small, it's my herbs and stuff, but I make them into just like bouillon cubes. I make them into little cubes or cookies. And you can just break off a piece, throw it once you're eating. Oh, here you go. And that's a secret to my gallery camping. Now, I know you're saying, what the, let me show you what I'm talking about. Hey, people, people, today on the Freak Show, what we're going to do is make some good, good, goods. I'm going to show you how to make these little boogers right here. Now, what are those little boogers? I do not use these packs because if you use these packs, it's high in MSG, it's very unhealthy. So, what we do is we make our own packs. Oh, and you can use these not only for MSG, but for all kinds of good stuff. If you're gonna make, you got a thing of beans, you wanna make some chili beans? Oh, there you go. This is just one of my recipes for work. I'm gonna use this chili recipe to show you how to make it. Now, you're going to need some kind of liquid. And if you watch my videos on resupply, I've told you about you know, going to the fish stores. If you go to a certain fish stores, you can get to vinegar, malt vinegar, sometimes apple cider vinegar, depending on you know where you're at. So we're gonna need a little bit of that. We are going to use garlic. We are going to use we are going to use chili powder. We are going to use bitter parsley. So what we're going to do, and this ain't so much about the recipes because I do not hardly ever measure anything, but you'll see. Okay, so that's a little bit of garlic. I'm already making a mess here, but whatever. I'll clean it up in a second. A little bit of chili powder. About equal parts garlic, chili powder. Pew. Let's just do some more. What then we'll say, bam! No, that ain't where I got my name, Big Daddy Bam Bam from. But... Then we'll add a little bit of cumin, cumin, cumin. I ain't sure how you say that. And we're gonna add just a little bit of parsley. And you can add any ingredients you want. Now, let me clean this up a little bit here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit me. Okay. Now, you can add any ingredients you want. Now, everybody asks me, and I'll make you break. Everybody asks me, why do you carry a rock around with you? I don't know, it looks like a rock dome. It looks like a rock. It kind of looks like a rock dome. It seems like a, just a rock. It looks like a rock dome. It's not a, actually a rock. This is brown sugar. It's just the reason it looks like a rock is where it's hard in the bag. You can tell. And I just carry that around with me. And when I need some brown sugar, I just kind of scrape it off, as you can tell. 
spread it a little bit and get my brown sugar in there. Now this is just my chili recipe for ramen noodles or anything I kind of want chili. And like, like I said, once you make it, it's not hard. You will need a Ziploc bug. Well, a Ziploc bug. Now, in order to make these bricks, as you know, just like with rock candy or anything else, you need something to solidify. So we're going to use vinegar because vinegar and brown sugar really works good. And just about half a cap on is all you need. About all you need. So you're going to pick about half a cap on. Let me get my, my handy dandy spoon over here. And we're just going to kind of make it into a face. Make it into a nice like a no drop cookie, no bake cookie, do drop cookie, whatever you call them, the oatmeal cookies, the chocolate oatmeal cookies, no, no bake cookies. Anyway, you're going to make it into a nice little paste. Let's get it all out there. And once you do that, you're just going to blob it down on a Ziploc bag. I use Ziploc bag just because that's what I got handy. You're just going to blob it down. As you tell, just blob it down. Just going to blob it down. Now what you're going to do, you're going to put this thing in the microwave for 30 seconds on one side, flip it over, 30 seconds on the other side. When it comes out, it's going to look like, well, depending on how you set it, it's going to look like this. Now, when you get to camp, you want to make that drink my noodles, whatever. You break a chunk off. You know, you already got the hot water. You break a chunk off, you stir it in, and this will, it's just like a dehydrated banana or anything else, but it's herbs and spices. It's a whole lot easier if you're on the trail, you're on a bike. Whatever, it's a whole lot easier to carry that and just kick a little bit off of it. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can make it into actual cubes like bouillon cubes. Yeah, and you can actually make all kinds of goodies out of this. And you, like I said, you ain't got to do the chili one, you can do other ones. It's just, you know, I do it with all kinds of other spices. If I want to do something Italian, you do the basil, oregano, and all that. And then I use, instead of using vinegar with that, I use the, um, I can't remember what it's called now, uh, sugar water, yeah, just a little bit of sugar water, like a caramel, you know, whenever you eat sugar water, you make caramel, same principle, you just, and if you got a dehumidifier, you, or dehumidifier, a dehydrator, you just drop this in the dehydrator, and, phew, and it takes the, the water out of it, but it leaves all the other stuff in, so then you can have like eight or nine of them, Put them in a Ziploc bag so when you're on the trail instead of eating them little nasty, nasty little packs they give you. There you go. That's as simple as that. See you next time. Yeah, so it's pretty much that simple. Uh, you can use any spice you want. You can use the different things. Like I said, sugar water makes a good base for it. It adds a little bit of sweetness. Uh, you can use honey. Let the honey get sticky and dry. So that works. So until next time, get out there. See this big old world. Enjoy. Laugh a little. Love a little. Live a little. So see you next time. Like and subscribe. Free zone. And don't forget, hit that bell. You can tell when we are